Speaking of lights, it's almost time for Friday Night Lights. We start checking in on some area teams with Deer River. The Warriors went 4-5 and five last year and returned multiple players on offense, including three-year starting QB Noah Williams. That's huge. It's, it cuts down on, on practice time a lot and just, and just reps. And, you know, he's like another coach on the field since he's had that experience. So uh, that helps out a lot. These are all my guys. I mean, I've been playing with these guys for years. We've been playing together since Pony League. Most of, almost all the guys are still out. So it's just a lot of familiar stuff that we got going. Maybe even more important than returning your quarterback is returning three offensive linemen up front, including all district left tackle Frank Villeneuve. Those three guys, you know, make things work up front. They, they know each other really well and they know the blocking schemes and the de different defensive fronts. The past couple of years we've always had kind of having to trade new people in, whereas this year it's more like we can start getting on it rather than waiting so long. The Warriors attended a team camp for the first time in recent years, so that extra work in the offseason, plus a little determination, should lead to a successful year. Well, it's really just about heart. I mean, last year we didn't really build that teamwork right away, but then we started building it on later on the season. So once we start getting that heart in, then we'll start doing better, I think. And they'll begin their season in just under two weeks on the road. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.